biggest challenge that we face when touring a show like this is logistics. After closing in London on the 4th of September, we had a two week packing period, which is where we got all of the collection, all the set works, put it into crates. We ended up being, I think, four weeks from point to point, London to New York. In the collection, we have 550 objects. Certain pieces of that collection are very high value and very high risk. Those particular items from lenders need to travel by air and that's purely about minimising the risk to those items in transit. It's, it's not so much that, that these things are priceless as in, you know, they're worth so much money. It is uh, priceless as in if they get lost or destroyed, you can't replace them. We're dealing with some really unique items here. DHL also supported us in the air freight of the high value items, the Andy Warhol items and without them I don't think we could have moved it. One for the time frame that we had and two for the cost that we did. The interesting thing with the high profile shipments is the level of attention and uh, excitement they create within the network. But along with it does come some challenges, particularly around the insurance that the uh, materials presented the right way with the right paperwork and ensuring that we can get uh, our customs clearance uh, so there's no transit delay on the shipments getting to its final destination. You know, that's a really important part of something like this because we've only got four and a half years. We've got to try and do 12 cities around the world. We're going to literally every continent with the exception of Africa. So you need a trusted partner who's global. Safety and security in a show like this is paramount. I think with the value of the collection particularly and also the desirability of the items inside it. It's not like you're doing a normal museum exhibition where it's purely a commercial value alone. It's actually the value that it has to the fans. They're the sort of things that people want to acquire. It's been really exciting to get involved with such artefacts that hold such cultural significance, like uh, Keith Richards' guitar on a four-year world tour and supporting that. You do feel a very close uh, association and actually in some cases a very emotional one. It's always exciting when you have some uh, precious cargo in the back, of course. I tried to make a soft landing, maybe. <laughs> For me, when an exhibition opens, we've finished all of our hard work, all the freight's been done, all the installation work's been done. To see the first visitors walk through the door and really have that experience and be overwhelmed by it is really gratifying for me. In the United States, the Rolling Stones luck rock royalty, so I'm fascinated to see how they react to this exhibition. I think it'll be amazing.